hey guys welcome back for more coffee talk episode two so last time we got riona we got rachel and we got gala visiting us in the store so we're gonna do day five today so come on let's begin oh no seems like we're out of ginger hmm Oh, Hyde is back. Mr. Hyde, welcome. Yeah, has a different outfit now. Hello, Moon. It's nice to see you again. How are you? Uh, well, I'm just here. How about you? You seem a little preoccupied. Right, sorry about that. I just learned that we're out of ginger. Oh. I made a mistake on the weekly order sheet. And the remaining roots I have are no longer fit for consumption. Sounds like a rookie mistake, Moon. I know, I am ashamed. Our storage system is having problems because of recent power surges. Alas, I'll stock up at the farmer's market tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. You're really bu busy as usual, I see. Yes, well, nothing wrong with a slow day or two from time to time. Although it's been quite a week, if I may say so myself. Oh? Well, I'm listening. Pardon? You're weak. Tell me all about it. Oh. I'm not even sure where to start. Try anywhere. After all, there's no way for me to correct an unheard story, am I right? Right. Well, the most notable problem recently would be the severe thunderstorms. Sometimes they cause our powers to short out, which messes up with the machines. So in case it happens again, my apologies. I see. Warning, Julie noted. There also has been this ongoing car vandalism in the neighborhood. Apparently there's a serial deflator of tires on the loose. Officer Georgie was the one who informed me about it. We've also got a lot of new customers. And I think that's about it. Sounds eventful, even if I am not terribly riveting. Now, regarding the car van vandalism you spoke about. Well, I drove here. To what extent should I be concerned about it? Hmm. I wish I could inform you with confidence. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it, so... I can answer that. Officer Georgie's here. There's nothing to worry about. Your car is going to be fine. Officer Georgie, welcome. Hey, Moon. I managed to track and narrow down the Vandal strike zone, you see. Because the culprit seems to have a favorite spot. Really? Yep, and it's nowhere near here. Miss Riona told me her car was affected as well, by the way. That so. If she come back if she comes back, can you ask her where she parked? Will do. Yeah, appreciate it. Anyway, my investigation's still ongoing, but I'd say this area is pretty safe. So we can relax. I see. Anyway, good evening, y'all. Sorry for blocking the entryway earlier. I was finishing off my last cigarette. Because it's time to start a new one. Do you mind? Not at all. Mr. Hyde and meet Officer Georgie. Oh, they didn't meet in the first game. Okay. He's in charge of the night patrols around here. Yeah, Georgie, like, didn't really come that much in the first game, yes? He's in charge of the night patrols. Cheers. Officer Georgie, meet Mr. Hyde. Our occasional guest from Los Angeles. A friend of Mr. Gala. Okay, let me check this first. Tomodachil, supermodel, he is a supermodel. Anything new from them? A um, silver, gala, stories, iced baileys, like by Cess Lua, Rachel, why is that Rachel? Like why is she so, like she has a lot of muscle. <laughs> Right? Look at the photo. Myrtle. 
Lucas M. Lloyd Fayweather <laughs> Mayweather Georgie Freya Fay, dude, where's Freya? Ah, the big hospital guy. Then I guess I've seen you around a bunch. Uh, Los Angelino, eh? Not for much longer, though. Oh, I'm in the process of finalizing my move back here with my modeling agency. That's wonderful news. You lived there before? For about 40 years. When did you move to LA then? Around 20 years ago. Right. Hmm. Let's just say I'm nowhere near as young as I look. Oh. Models, vampires, gotcha. Then as a native Seattleite, let me be the first to welcome you back. We got smog and our dour skies, but at least our coffee's second to none. Right, Moon? I'll let you be the judge of that. Thanks for the warm welcome. Then, have you moved in already or... Not yet. Preparations still need to be made at the property I've chosen. I wouldn't even think of packing until it's halfway done. Makes sense. That being said, I'll be here to oversee the construction for a while. If you ever need help, let me know. Can't do much by myself, but I can find a, new, a few guys who can. Although it won't be necessary, I appreciate the gesture. It's funny. What is? Quite frankly, the police force and I had something of a contentious relationship in the past. Uh oh. Was it a slap on the wrist and let's call it a dare type of thing? Or the catch you, you catch me kind? All I can say is uh, live long enough and you'll try everything. Those are bygone years, of course. Are you sure? So, does anyone want something to drink? Of course, naturally. I'm looking for the money, and they're not ordering anything. <laughs> after you. Well, a public servant should put citizens first. So, after you. How idealistic. But I insist. After all, I'm still considering my options. Well then, in that case... What'll it be, officer? Uh, just give me something nice, Moon. Are you alright? Not that great, honestly. What happened? Never mind that for now, I got a question for you. Did you by any chance see a lighter lying around? Oh, yes, I did. That's a relief. Okay, Moon, listen carefully. I need you to take this very, very seriously. Okay? I'll need a lighter back, okay? Okay. I mean it, I need it back. Or this streak of bad luck won't end. Pardon? I'm just talking to myself. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I appreciate it. Would you like anything to drink? Just black coffee for me, please. But lightly sweetened? Why well, once Black coffee only? Lightly sweetened. So coffee... Coffee... And... Oh uh, wait, a uh, honey. Lightly sweetened, so honey. I don't know. Oh shit. Okay. No. Okay. I I got nervous there. It's the the lighter. I actually thought I forgot. Okay, there. Yes. Serve it. Finally. Hello, old friend. Thanks, Moon. I su I suppose I owe you an like, explanation. I told you before, right? The lighter's my lucky charm. When it goes missing, my luck gets really dicey. Almost got hit by a falling fan at work. Broke the missus' favorite mug. Nearly swerved my car into the sidewalk because of a black cat jumped into my lane. A black cat? Not even a raccoon. I swear, I'm, make I'm not making this up. If that wasn't a sign, I don't know what is. And well, daughter's still mad at me too. Anyway, glad to have this back. Thanks for keeping it safe for me, Moon. You're very welcome. Here's your sweet coffee to sweeten your evening, officer. 
Cheers, Moon. That really hits the spot. I'm glad to hear that. Ready to make your order? Not quite. Oh, do you have any suggestions? Hmm. We have a couple of new teas if you're interested. Oh. They're butterfly pea and hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus? Not an ingredient that's easily palatable when used in hot, a, a hot beverage. Perfect. Make me something with it. Are you sure? We're missing some ingredients tonight. Do you have any specifics in mind? I'll let you choose for me. Just make it red and who knows. Maybe it can be my new uh, blood wine. Blood wine? It's a fake blood co cocktail I used to get here. Back when it was still a bar. I see. Okay, make a bold red drink. I like to see what you can, can, can come up with. So he wants hibiscus because it's red, right? Okay, the problem is what do we add? Mint? Mint hibiscus. Can we give him this? Maybe it's for Gala, right? Maybe it's for Gala, though. How about I give this to him? And maybe he can give it to Gala? Well, let's just try. Maybe he'll return it, right? That's Gala's, isn't it? Yeah, see? I told you. The apartment key. I see. So he lost it here. In fact, he called me this morning asking if I was in the city. I didn't tell him I was in Seattle though, so the call was a surprise. What do you call you? Y you ask? Well, simply because I have his spare key. I'll take this off you and bring it to him then. I'll be sure to let him know. Alright, thank you. Yes, we got it. Here you go, sir. Something red. So, this is the drink it thought uh, I might like. Honestly, I'm not entirely confident, but this is the best I can do tonight. It looks peculiar enough. I mean, it's red, right? How is it? It's start. Astringent. Do, do you like it? You tell me. And I was looking forward to it. I'm sorry that it wasn't what you expected. You said anything red, hide. Well, you did what I asked, so no need for apologies. Next time, you could try making something that it doesn't taste like hay juice. It needs some boldness. Something that can leave a mark in me. There's only one hibiscus drink that I have enjoyed. I'm curious to see if you can, make, you can come close. Okay, I'll try my best next time. Welcome. Why was there? Lucas? Hey, kid. He's pretty... There. He's pretty serious today. Damn. Oh. Oh, hello, Moon. Pops, it's nice to see you again. What's up? What's going on? What's going on with you? Me? Oh, well, nothing. Nothing much. You know what? Let me move over there. Yeah, you can see Mr. Hyde. He's a supermodel. There we go. Sorry about earlier. It was... Preoccupied? No problem. Is everything alright? Yeah, of course. I'm always alright. Always. Cause I'm very, a very lucky dude. Speaking of luck, did the lady ever come back? Miss Riona? Yeah, she did. Really? Did you manage to give her my stuff? I did. I gave her your... Written contact info. Okay, okay, cool. She didn't throw it away, did she? As far as I know, I don't think so. Great. Are you trying to reach the Soprano last? That's right. I still feel uneasy about how that day went. So I just want to apologize to her or something, you know? Okay. So I guess I just have to wait for her to contact me, huh? I think so, yes. But what if she doesn't contact me? What should I do? 
then that's that that's her choice you're so right didn't think of you as someone who would have trouble reaching out to people like this i know right it is what it is okay then i'll wait any hoodle it's nice to see you again likewise kid hello to you too uh, hide it's hide wait so you're really that hide the supermodel hide a big shot eh oh man oh boy i never thought i'd randomly see you in a place like this no offense to you moon well i follow your socials man big fan i especially love the timeless series you did for boundless hmm that's an old one boundless it was a lifestyle magazine no longer in print because everything is online these days what was the series about it was a photo series i modeled for a bit of an avant-garde shoot they were originally set to be displayed in a time travel themed showcase alas the exhibition fell through so they were teamed and put in a magazine instead yeah those were awesome i like how the series showed peak fashion through the times yet the designs were so contemporary timeless even pun intended i love i love to see that wait let me show you a couple pics from it oh this is hide hide looks great there colorless or not oh wow you look amazing mr hide still do <laughs> still do of course it was cool it inspired me to find my own style too i am partial to the 80s inspired look myself really i can't tell it's my jacket collection glad it helped i did enjoy experiencing some of those times again even if only in garment form even if i was left with a melancholy feeling but i i digress hmm? would you like to order anything oh yeah of course oh by the way uh, is pure matcha supposed to make you feel woozy pardon i tried drinking some before lunch a couple days ago i felt a tad nauseous did you have breakfast nope it's really strong tea so it still shouldn't be consumed on an empty stomach hmm that was the main takeaway from our conversation wasn't it julie noted thanks then can i get a pumpkin latte uh sorry we don't have that here for real you know you'll need pumpkin to make it right oh i've heard that before yep but i have an open mind i just don't want anything plain tonight how about making me something based off a pumpkin latte with what you have okay pumpkin latte so to make a latte it's coffee right coffee milk so cinnamon i think because not these ones right not mint and lemon and honey maybe cinnamon because we don't have any pumpkin though serve it a cinnamon latte warm and sweet just for you sounds good mm, good call in the cinnamon it is the star of the spice of the fall season after all oh yeah you're right like pumpkin lattes the warm cheers me right up thanks moon don't mention it so what's the matter hmm why do you need cheering up yes what is your problem today okay let me check this for stories kimono pad hashtag ad <laughs> What did he find? Oh, about that. Just the usual work stuff. A few disagreements here and there, you know. Any working team will eventually have them once or twice, right? Right. What do you do? I'm a vlogger slash influencer. Ah. I review a lot of lifestyle things like fashion, places, food, etc. on social media. Sometimes I do skits and such on my channels too. 
And pranks? No, no, no. No way. <laughs> Real talk though, I actually hate pranks. I didn't say it before, but I hate them. A lot. Is that so? I just think they're the lowest form of entertainment. Just cheap thrills at the expense of others. Right. But yeah, getting off topic here. So you're essentially the creator and host of your show. What does your team do? My team helps me edit, secure sponsors, and massively boost the production quality. They're great. I owe, I owe them lots. Do you think you're doing well? Yeah, I mean, I think so. We get by pretty well. I currently reside in LA. For real? I did too, before I moved here. Why did you move? Why I move? I mean... Cause I hated it there. Not to crap on where you live, sir. I just think LA is not for me. No offense taken. So why do you hate it there? It's a long and stupid story. Trust me, you don't want to hear it. Anyway, sorry for the tangent. You were saying? I've been noticing an influx of newcomers there. They're loud, young, and brazen. Just like you. Yeah. The fact that you're able to make something of yourself out of such mundane nonsense. I'd say you're doing pretty well. <laughs> such mundane nonsense. So what's the issue? Well... I've talked about my channel situation here before, right? Yeah, you said your views were dwindling. Calling it dwindling might be a bit overkill, but yeah. That's why my team and I are trying to figure out what to do. Trying to keep the show fresh, you know? Truthfully though, I've been wanting to change the show's direction for a while now. I even promised myself last year, once I got a certain number of viewers, I was just going to do it. Was? Well, I've always wanted to do a talent showcase segment, you know? So I could help elevate others like me. Others like you? Yeah. Like the soprano lady from before. Like those dwarf actors and actresses in TV shows. Well, we all actually kind of have something in common. Do you know what it is? I'll make it easier for you. Think about satyrs, for example. Moon, when you hear about us, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Hmm. Don't think too hard now. Just say anything off the top of your head. How about you, Pops, sir? Probably partying, or recklessness, alcoholism, or, or a joke, right? Is that what you think? Nope, but that's what most of society thinks. In the same way society views Leo Lady Riona as... Bad luck personified. All just because she happens to be a banshee. Besides, society is awful at judging people. The immediate trust they have for those who have money true when you have money instant they trust you instantly <laughs> compared to those who had to start from zero you know what i mean i mean i get it you know etiquette social cues and awareness that sort of thing what nurtures you when growing up reflects these things that's what most people like to assume anyways and like i get it nobody has any time to learn about everybody so we go by impressions but as someone who started from zero and now, the difference in how people treat me is so damn stark. So damn stark that it doesn't feel all that great, you know? Of course. So yeah, I wanted to carve a space in my work. A place where I could give exposure to those who might not get it otherwise. Then once again, I ask you, what is the issue? My team thinks my segment idea is too risky. Don't fix what's not broken, they said. They just want me to improve what I've been doing. And you agree? I mean, they're not wrong. The risk is real. After all, I'm not responsible only for myself. I get a whole team depending on me now. That's why I'm trying to find a compromise. At least until we become so big that any slight changes won't affect us as much. Will the world wait for you though, I wonder? Huh? Will the world wait for you to be ready? Have you ever asked yourself that? You see, making choices is always a matter of priority. 
As you grow, your stake increases along with your responsibilities. As such, your excuses will continue to pile up. But the given pace at which you're going right now, I see your idealistic dream is unlikely to be realized. However, if it's not enough for you to just have good intentions, well, that's another story. Well, a little blunt, aren't we? Yeah, he's, Hyde has always been a uh, blunt, especially especially in, in last time in the first game. Yeah, he fought with Lua. Yeah, she got angry. <laughs> Am I wrong though? It is a perspective, you know, one of many. I admit I don't know much about the entertainment biz, but you've gotten this far, boy, because all along you've been motivated by that specific goal in mind. Ain't that right? Yeah. That is why I wouldn't dismiss his intent so easily. He's... Well, you're probably just a bit lost right now. Do you think I should have been gentler then? Nah. I needed a whipping. Those words were hard to swallow, but I needed to hear them. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Well, there's a lot I think... I need to think about so I should go nice seeing you pops and thanks for your advice sir Moon, thank you too hang in there yeah y'all too see you around he left help I've stayed too long already so I better do or go do my work now don't want to get my paid doc you see nice meeting you Hyde we'll see each other more often soon I'm sure hopefully nothing work related have a good night officer you too moon be safe out there will do until next time <laughs> I suppose I should leave as well I'll be back before long though please do hmm is there something wrong? It looks like the officer forgot his lighter again. Oh, we got his lighter back again. <laughs> it seems our officer accidentally drops it again. It exudes an interesting feel. Again, it's back with us. Oh, oh, what a curse. Oh no, you're right. I'll keep it for him. Thank you. All right then. Have a good evening yourself, Moon. Safe trip out there, Mr. Hyde. Okay. No, I was gonna check the Tomodachi, but it ended. Sunday, September 24th. Why is it always raining, by the way? Was it always raining like this in the first game? Inumimi and werewolves may share common ancestry. Countries who block foreign entry amidst unknown livestock bacterial infection. Okay, so we ended episode or day five. Yes. So we finally saw Hyde again. Pretty much, he's pretty much the same as the Hyde as before. He's still pretty blunt, as you saw. <laughs> Lucas kind of left after that. But yeah, he's been always like that. He was pretty much like straight to the point all the time. And last time it was pretty funny. Where in the first game, him and Lua kinda had an argument because yeah, dude, he was <laughs> he was too straight. He basically They were fighting about I think it was family, I think, right? Yeah, it was pretty funny. So yeah, we got Officer Georgie again. Yeah, Georgie is in more scenes now. Like back then he would show up a little bit and then like a couple minutes into the day he would leave he would go on patrol but now he's pretty much there now the whole day and yes he's always missing his lighter now we got it but we gave it to him and now it's with us again he left it so he's cursed at, as it as he says is it is very bad luck so anyways, hopefully next who do who didn't we see yet? We haven't seen Henry yet. We've pretty much seen everyone. Bailey's, yeah, we haven't seen Bailey's yet. 
our best girl freya has not even shown up yet even once hopefully she's gonna come soon i wish anyways i will continue this and do day six in the next episode guys i'll just see you then bye bye